so we have the original application open here on one tab and the one we're building on this other tab so in this video we'll be creating the stats page to display the user's results after a quiz now let me quickly just go through or play a quiz to show you what that page looks like so on the original one the finished one we'll play so i'll just quickly answer these questions um, we're on question 15 when i answer this question or when the quiz ends you should be taken to a page that will show the statistics for this quiz so that's flash drive now the quiz has ended and when i click ok we should be taken to that page so in this video this is the page we'll be building we can see our score my score was 67 percent total number of questions is 15 number of attempted questions is 15 number of correct answers is 10 number of wrong answers is 5 and the hints used is 0 out of 5 and i use them 1 50 50 so the goal of this video will be to build or create this page and display the player stats or the quiz stats in our application so over in my editor in the source folder in our components folder we'll create a component and call this component quiz summary so quiz summary and it's going to be a class based component because we'll be managing state so i'll import react from react now we could use state in our functional components but i don't want to touch anything about hooks in this tutorial so i'll just stick with using class components for now just give myself some more room here so class quiz summary extends component and of course we have to also bring in or import components from react and then i'll just export default quiz summary now I'll quickly just render some text to be sure that this component is getting rendered so I'll return as usual hello from quiz summary now over in my app component I'll just add this uh, quiz summary to our route so down here in app.js just duplicate this line and this will be quiz summary so it's in the same folder with the other two components and the route will be the route will be forward slash quiz forward slash play slash summary I'll just call it quiz summary quiz summary now let's just test that that page is getting rendered properly now in our application the one we're building not the original one i'll just go over to forward slash play slash slash quiz summary and it doesn't come up i don't think i got the route where this is forward slash play slash quiz summary okay we're still rendering the play component it should be the quiz summary component this one here so quiz summary okay good so we can see our component is getting rendered now let's go about building the component itself but the next thing i'll do before we go further is to redirect a user from the play component when the quiz ends because currently we are redirecting to the home page which is not what we want to do here we want to redirect to this quiz summary component also sending in this player stats as data so to do that in this dot history dot push we want to go to forward slash play slash quiz summary so forward slash 
play slash quiz summary and the second argument we can pass to the push method is the state we want to send which is on send player stats which is this object which we created here now this will redirect to this route sending this data with it along with it now let's go and catch this data over in our quiz summary component and now to do that we need to catch the props because it's going to come in as props or we'll access it through the props of the component so we need a constructor constructor which takes in props now just call super passing in props and before i even catch those catch that state let me just create our state for this component so this dot state is equal to an object now the score by default will be zero um, the number of questions will also be zero so number of questions zero number of answered questions this will be zero correct answers will be zero i'm just setting up the default state here so correct answers this is zero wrong answers this is also zero used hints zero used 50 50 is zero so these are default states now just in our render above the return our console dot log props now to actually see these props in action we we'll have to play the quiz a bit so we can have we can see the data that is being sent to our component so i'll just go back to our home page and quickly play a quiz okay props is not defined on line seven and that's because it should be this dot props so i'll just open up my console here and let's quickly play a quiz I might have to forward the video or speed through it. So 100 degrees Celsius. Before Thomas Edison in the beginning. Now our quiz has ended. Now let's see what happens when we, re we get redirected to our quiz summary component. So OK. Now you can see we are on the quiz summary component. And here. We're getting a log from the quiz summary on line 17. So over here on line 17, we're logging out our props. And if I expand this log, we'll see we have the history, the location, the match objects. Now, we pay, we'll be paying attention to the location objects. So down here, there's also a property called state, which is an object. And this is the state that was getting passed or redirected or sent when we redirected our from from our play component to our quiz summary component so as you can see i have 13 correct answers i use no 50 50 no hints i answered 15 questions and i scored 13 so i had two wrong answers our state is getting passed correct correctly to this um component so let's work on, let's work on building this um component and displaying our states so over in my editor before i go forward i'll create a call to component bid mount just to put those values in our state so this dot set state set state i'll just copy our state object and paste into it and modify so copy now our score is going to be gotten from this dot props before i go further let me just destructure this uh 
quiz starts from our state so const state is equal to this dot props dot location so we're pulling off the state of the location object now before i go further let me just confirm or check that this is correct so this is the props dot location to check if we still have our uh state in it so on line 30 dot states so on line 30 we can see we're getting our states back so i'm pulling off our states off the location object from our props here just to reduce the amount of code we'll be writing so score is going to be states dot score now because i want to be displaying the score as a percentage i have to convert this to a percentage so score is going to be score divided by the number of question questions which is states dot number of questions which we have access to because we sent it from here in our end game function so number of questions and then we'll be dividing that by 100 so sorry multiplying that by 100 now just wrap these two in parentheses now besides this every other thing will just stay the same as we get from the state so this will be state dot number of questions And this will be states dot number of answered questions. This will be state dot correct answers. This will also be state dot wrong answers. And this will be states dot fifty fifty used. So states dot fifty fifty used. And for the hint, it will be hints used. So states dot hints used. So I'll just correct this to the uh, equivalent from the play components not used hints but hints used and 50 50 used so 50 50 used and this will be 50 50 used So now in our component did mounts, we are getting our states, the states we passed or sent from our play component, and we are setting our application state, which is this state, to match the states we get off the previous component. Now let's just build up our user interface. Before I go further, let me quickly check to see that there's no error in my application. So there's no error in my console, so we can move forward. Now just take away this console log up there now i'll be using a fragment to wrap everything so also import fragments at the top from react so fragments now the title of this page is going to be title will be so title the title will be quiz app dash summary and of course we have to bring in helmet so import helmet from React dash helmets. 